but even though it was rough, we still got Shimmer to catch up with the rest of our team. <laughs> but for now, he shall sit in the back of the party, lazily hanging back with a Sloth's gem. Because there's no way in hell that he's going to do any damage at this current stage. But that means back to the Thunderous Cave. And this time I plan to get further than just the ground floor in the basement, so let me very quickly buy some small HP cakes with the last of my money, and then I'll skip ahead to where we left off. Uh, one should certainly not underestimate the wild corum on here. Uh, yeah, I'll waste one more HP cake on Amarillo, and Matador will probably survive. Famous last words. Anyway, we're back to where we were before. This guy over here, we went to the right before, which means, uh, yeah, by the way, Muppet went up to level 16 as I was trying to get through here. He also got some potential points, and I'm thinking uh, the fact that he seems to be a mixed attacker is really throwing me off right now. Like, Sandball is going to be very valuable, I think, the moment we face any kind of electric Coromon. The only other sand move he learns at level 27, and again, that's a ways off. The rest is all physical, so on one hand, maybe I want to improve more of his physical attack. I could also go for more health, or I could crank up his defense, the special defense, just a little bit, make sure he survives a bit more. Again, I don't know what is wisdom. I think I'm actually going to split it here. One HP, one defense, one special defense. Just survive, Muppet. That's all we need for you right now. And for this trainer, right after I take my milestones and maybe go up a level. Not just one level. Not just two levels. Three levels. Well, I'll take it. Uh, give me that silver spinner. Thank you. Give me the attack cakes. Nice. And our very first potent sense. Yeah, we don't count the, the other 40. Anyway, uh, I'm keeping Shimmer, or Shimmer, I'm keeping Sparky in the back as well for now because of the amount of electric Cormon I'm encountering here and the, the occasional Muffle who are becoming an issue. So uh, Sparky as well has got the Lazy Gem, so both of them will slowly siphon off as much experience as they can get. Which means... Trainer. Hi. Owen. I think I've been in this cave for too long. Did you just see a blue person running by? Uh, maybe some exercise will help me clear my head. I think what you saw was a houndos. Could be a big houndos, but that's the only blue thing here. Except for the water. Ooh, hi. Uh, sand scale with menacing. Oh, I don't like the menacing part, but yeah. Interesting. Just weak to water, well... I should be fine. Have some deep cut power. Okay, for a moment I was afraid that, that would decrease my accuracy. Uh, I'll take a speed decrease. You're faster than me anyway. And have a bleeding wound. And have some more bleeding wounds. I'm, I'm gonna have to switch out with Amarillo. I'm not going to survive another Coromon here. But I should be able to destroy the sand scale, I hope. And there we go, attack increase, gotta love it. Uh, okay, so no matter what, this this should kill unless you start toughening up. This should still kill, right? I mean, I've got a... That does not kill, it's like 2 HP, you got rid of me. Oh boy. Okay, you know what? Fine, I'll just scratch you in that case, and then I'll switch out for the next Coromon. And likewise, does this also mean one of my other Coromon levels up? Sparky, Shimmer, Amarillo, definitely. Oh, I love those attack increases. I might have to pump some special or some point of special defense for you as well, though. Or more HP. Nah, you are the weakest in special defense. That is your weak point, so a few points. Just so that you can survive. I don't want Amarillo to die at any point. And there goes Shimmer, who still has 6 points. I'm gonna keep those for the time being until I know what to do with you. And you send out another sand skill. Well, that's fine, that's fine. You are weak to water. Uh, is ice weak to sand? It isn't, right? 
No, sand is only effective against electricity. So, Koda, can you deal with the sand skill? Because two splashes should kill this. Can splash crit? That's a good question. Okay, so you're level 12, meaning splash would do 24, leaving you at 12, right? Yup. Seriously, that splash is going to come in very handy. So, please die. And stop throwing mud balls in my face, thank you. Uh, you're wasting cakes, basically, for me. But that's fine, that's fine. That means Koda gets a little bit of experience, and... Anyone else? There we go, Sparky to 16. And Shimmy to 16. Well, nice. Yes, I'm feeling much more focused already. Seriously, dude, Houndos. How can you... How can you think a Houndos is a person? Oh, also, I should really talk to you guys. When you stay down here long enough, you start seeing all sorts of things. Yeah. Oh, uh, God, I now want to know what the other two people say. I'm gonna do that. Just look at my gauntlet. It's so shiny. Well, I think I did speak to you before, but I certainly didn't speak the sky to the right. Uh, okay, I was not expecting that. Oh, yo, you're going to get longer. Digma, digma. Muppets is getting longer and longer. <laughs> Digmo or Digma, Digmo. He's still Muppet to me. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I did not see that one coming. Tricky claws. Uh, slashes the target from behind with one to two rapid claw swipes. Each slice has a 20% chance to make the target bleed. D does that mean 1 or 2, so it has a power of 40 to 80 in that case? Ooh, that could be good. Um, I'm definitely gonna remove Tailspin in that case. Tailspin for Tricky Claws. Awesome. Yeah, certainly did not see that one coming. Got myself a Digma. Okay, what does my database say about you? And also, what does my database say about Aurora? Uh, Aurora maintain a state of semi-hibernation. This cools their body and enables them to live in warmer climates. Fancy. And what about Digma? Digma builds intricate tunnel systems deep under the ground where they spend most of their lives. And Muppet decided to join us. Well, they live underground until a Cormon trainer disturbs them, basically. Well, anyway, welcome to the team, Muppets. And all that because I wanted to talk to Sky again. Some battle researchers have spent hours upon hours to find a Lunar Pup. That's so silly. Don't you know it can only be found down that ladder? Really? That's the only place? That's seriously the only place? Then dear oh dear, am I lucky to have found a Lunar Pup there and have it on my team even though... I'm sorry, Shimmer, but you are still on the very weak side of things right now. And that is Matador to level 16 as well from a wild muffle. Gotta love it. Alright, back to where we were. No further distractions. Except for Wild Coromon. I've actually been running away from the wild bustlets that I've been encountering because I know that some of them have the opportunity to have that static body thing going on and I definitely don't like that. Anyway. Two models, same level, yet difference in HP. Kind of love that little detail. And I can kill you. Nice. I'll take the experience because Matador and Amarillo are currently the weakest two members. Not counting, well, basically Shimmer and Sparky, but that's fine. Can you stop scratching my face, please? Thank you, Muffle. And die. So, moving on. Um, there was a... Box around here. Pillar? There's gotta be something at that pillar. Right? Come on, pillar. Nothing? Really? Uh, fine. Alright. Uh, I did believe I saw that. So, you please move. Thank you. What have we got? Static spinners. 
Well, could come in handy, especially because we're going to a new floor. Where it's dark. Alright, well fine, in that case, putting on my helmet. Likewise, doing a very quick save. And let's see what we've got on this floor. And it's a Houndos, nice! Well, I will certainly get you... Uh, and of course it's Twilight Setting. I'm not liking that! Also... Um, I think I'm just going to throw a Static Spinner or a Trick Spinner again, because I fear that I might kill you really quickly. So... Um, I'll go for a static spinner this time. I only got one more trick spinner. I want to keep that one for the time being. So, Houndos, will you please join my team? Well, not directly. Like, like I'm going to put you in the storage, but I'll still gladly have you on my team. Uh, yes, I would like to check out in the Cormon summary. And I think I also instantly have a name for you in mind. Uh, let's see. Pretty good in special attack. That seems to be the case with most electricity Cormon right now. Most are pretty good in special attack. And you've already got points in there. Nice. Uh, let's see. Chomp, Mighty Roar and Fast Strike. And Coward. When the Cormon receives a critical hit, it cowers and increases its defense by two stages. Interesting, but uh, not the best out there, I think. Anyway, I do have a nickname for you, which I can instantly give you. You will be named... Fluffy. I mean, this is fully with the idea in mind that you will evolve into something that has three heads. And I... Just just blame Hagrid. Fluffy is a good nickname for you. And you will be sent to the Corma Storage. Bye, Fluffy. We'll maybe see you in the future again. Who knows? Alright, so, new floor. It's horrible to see a single thing here. There's going to be something here. No, there's not. Are we going to find that last remaining Coromon that we've not yet encountered? Like, there is one of those sneaky little buggers who has not shown his face just yet, and I want to know what it is. And likewise, we've not seen a single uh, movie just yet. So either that's on this floor, or there are more. Oh god, this is... This is going to be bad. Especially with the whole Twilight setting in, like... It's easy to miss a move like that. Maybe just 10%, but 10% can really add up. And she went to level 17. Ooh, Howl. Uh, the user howls at the moon, drawing upon its inner power, increasing attack by two stages. Oh, uh, okay. On the one hand, that is cool. Like, it's a very good move. But you are completely focused on special attack. So, although cool, I... Uh, I'll disable Mighty Roar and I'll go for Howl, I guess. But that still would mean... Theoretically. Attack an opponent with Hit, no wave, put them to sleep, start Howling, and then maybe with Shade Walker or Fade Attack, with Fade Attack always going first. Though having 90 accuracy... Uh, still not sure. But at least Shimmer is getting a bit more useful, maybe? I knew there had to be something hidden here. I'll take the HP cake. Which I'll probably instantly use on Matador because he needs it. Ah, uh, he can handle one more wild Coromon. I say with confidence that he will survive one more wild Coromon. And it's another Muffle. Well, luckily we aren't weak to sand types, which is something I still have to put in my mind, because I'm still thinking, oh, sand is a very effective against fire, but no. Matador to level 17, gotta love it. And uh, that also means he has now fully deserved that cake. Here you go, boy. Eat up. And let's see. Mm, combi cake. Just one, but I'll take it. And that also means, Amarillo, you to the front. I want to keep everyone sort of on the same level. So, let's see. What else have we got? Can we find something we haven't seen before? It's just stuff that we have seen. And also, this handles is having a rough day. Which also means Amarillo grows to level 17. Nice! And 
Tactic Tactical slam. L slam the target with moderation, leaving it with at least one HP when the target has more than one HP. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not really using Inspect Scent much. Although it is nice to have, I guess, but you risk getting hit yourself. Uh, definitely going to disable that. I'm going to learn you Tactical Slam. That's the f this is actually more powerful than it might seem, because yes. Okay, hit the opponent, leaving it with one, one HP. Perfect for... Trying to capture new Coromon for our team, but also this is your very first stab move. Like, it's just 25%, it's not too much, but that is powerful. That is more powerful than Scratch. For the same SP. I love it! Yeah, this day is getting better and better. So, I, I there is something I'm wondering though. You are currently carrying a canoe fruit, Amarillo. Do you actually find stuff with your hoarder ability when you are already carrying something? Because if you find something, it instantly goes towards my back. But I'll, I'll let him keep the canoe fruit just in case for now and just hope that we find something. Are we ready? We totally are ready. Hi. Miles. Go to the Thunderous Cave, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Well, it is a lot of fun. It might be a, a bit dark and such, but it's very doable. And you might no stand no chance. I hope. Level 12, yeah. We are leveling up pretty fast at this rate. Th that is fine, though. Um, I'd say... Is, would a deep cut kill you? Like, I don't know how actually powerful we are. So... Would this work? Is this going to deal a lot of damage? It's going to deal a lot of damage. And actually, would that have dealt more damage than 60? Deep Cut is still more powerful, although I do risk that accuracy. So, yeah. Have a scratch. And stop increasing and decreasing stats, please, Mino. That would be very useful. Goodbye. Show me what else you've got. Seriously, we're gaining so much experience. I'm actually surprised by that. Oh, slid up in. Um, yeah, about that. How about you meet my Muppets? Because you might be a poisonous normal type, but you yourself are weak to your very own poison. So how about I give you a taste of your own medicine? You like that, right? Here you go. Have a poison chomp. And be destroyed by it. Yeah, I was not anticipating the fact that we actually are getting a ton of experience like this. I, I'm not even grinding whatsoever. And sure, I'm not using Muppets, uh, or I'm not using Sparky and Shimmer, but yeah. Lost in the cave, lost in the battle. Uh, the way out is to the west and then semi up to the north, okay? How will I ever get out of here? Don't you have a Lux Recall? Lesson 101! Oh dear, oh dear. All right, um, yeah, I am surprised really by the XP gain we're getting, but that's fine, that's fine. Which means, where the hell do we need to go? Andos, please get out of my way, I'm also lost. Oh dear, oh dear, is everyone involving today? Amarillo, you too? I mean, I'm not complaining, you're getting beefier. Damn! <laughs> and really evolved into Armadil. Awesome! Yeah, you are really going to become a true attacking, defensive tank. I love it. And meanwhile, Sparky and Shimmer just lag behind just a little bit. And I'm really an SP cake! Okay, that's good. That's awesome. That means I don't have to remove your item. I'm good. Uh, yeah, let's put Matador to the front. When will Matador evolve? Does Matador evolve? He, he's got to evolve, right? Oh, dude. You're lost in the cave. There's a Lux Recall right over here. Unless you want to get to the, the exit of the cave, not the entrance where we came from, but still. Dear, oh dear. 
Oh, there we go. Gauze slime. Hi. Um, what typing are you? Electric. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. How about we figure out, are you weak defensively or special defensively? Oh, you've got sticky layer. Yeah. Um... You've got some tricks up your sleeve. Don't decrease my defense, please. I really don't like that. Just get out of here. Thank you. Goodbye. Critical hits. Stop with the sticky layer. You're dead. Oh, boy. Well, we'll take it. We'll take it. And that also means I think I'm going to run from a few random encounters, maybe. Just maybe. Anyway, where the hell are we going? I want that golden chest. Um, let's see. Push you twice and then all the way around. You are gonna be mine. Is anyone going to stop me? Is a is anyone going to stop me? No, you're not. Got myself a fear sense. Ooh. What was that? Uh where are the scents? Oh, that's the one that attracts what already hurt Cormor for three minutes. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll take it. And likewise, do I take this running opportunity from a level 12 Lumon? Please shoo. Thank you. Although that would have been a nice amount of experience. Uh, you know what? For now, I guess I'll use a single stinky scent. I mean... Repel Scorma weaker than your leading squad member for three minutes. It's not guaranteed, right? This can't be guaranteed. So that is just three minutes. Does it also tick down? I don't think it ticks down during battles. But nonetheless, that allows us to move a tiny bit faster and explore a little bit more. I have got no clue where I'm going. And I'll take the eight. Just for a small HP cake. That... That might not be worth it, maybe? Uh, yeah, this is fine. You know what? Okay, fine. Sparky. You're still on the weak side. You face this trainer. Ronald. This place is filled with battle research. Complaining about the darkness. I hope you're a bit more tough. Well, I'm not complaining about the darkness. Well, I was maybe a little bit ago, but I'm used to it now. Oh, and your Amado is weak to special attacks, friend. As long as we can hit each other, but hey, I'm a glowing ball of electricity. I should be able to hit you with a quad fault. Right? There we go. Uh, uh, not enough to kill you. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot about this. No, Sparky. This is fine. This is fine. I am not going to risk this. I can miss my move. I can 100% miss my move. Um, Koda. Please catch the blow over here. I forgot that Armada was actually pretty strong with the cut moves. And you got lost in the twilight. Thank you. All right. Have a scratch. And I'm getting lost in the twilight. Brilliant. See, that could have ended horribly. Now, please die. Goodbye. And let's see, what else have you got on your team? Seriously. I could have lost Sparky there, right? Ah, that's Shimmer up to 80. No, not Fiddly. Yes, Fiddly. Yes, Fiddly, you're weak to me. That is the wrong switch in, friend. That did not kill? I'm surprised that that did not kill. Oh, and you've got bloody canoe fruit. Get poisoned. Why is luck not on my side? Just die, please. You have to die to this. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, that's four on three. That's so much experience. Like, it feels like so much experience. Ah, oh, the darkness messed with my decision making. No, for... <laughs> Oi, you just said that people complained about the darkness and they... Oh, dear. I'll take it, though. I'll take it. The darkness draws in Corman that prefer dark places, like Muffle. 
then why have I not seen a single Moffel yet in this area? Or at least it feels like I've not seen a single Moffel in this area yet. Anyway, uh, Sparky, please have an HP cake small. Thank you. I was not anticipating Sparky to be hit by a cut move. And this would be where I just came from. Alright, so... Where is... Hi, I see you. Where is any of this going? Uh, move you, move you, move you, and boo. Don't steal my lines, please, Tamara. But yes, that is a good hiding spot. Ooh, and you send out a tattle. Oh, big mistake, friend. Big mistake. Although, again, the twilight will really mess me up. Come on, just hit the quadfold Sparky, and thank you. Ah, that's a kill. Tattle is pretty cute, though. And Sparky up to 17. When do you learn a new move again? Not entirely sure. Uh, do you only have water core ones? How does this work? How does one make it rain inside of a cave? Please tell me. I mean, you, sure, you influence the weather, but how? Uh, the questions of Goromon. And Pokemon. But dear, oh dear, we're, we're getting really powerful right now. The element of surprise was supposed to give me an advantage. Well, you should get, get a better hiding spot in that case, because I did spot you. And... Amarillo got myself a spinner. Okay, uh, is there... Is there any reason to be here? Yes, there is. That is well hidden. Skill flash 4. Okay, what is skill flash number 4? Flash the ignite skill on a Coromon. What is ignite? Ignite the target causing a burn. Eh, uh, I mean... Not really handy. How can Matador not learn this and only Shimmer can? How? I mean, Matador is a bloody fireball. If anyone can learn Ignite, it's... Nah. I'll take it. I'll take it. Anyway, moving on. There's a box there. Okay. I seriously don't know where I need to go. I'm lost in the dark with no map or compass. Left with a ladder. Okay. I know where to go now. I know where to go now. Uh, give me this... This one. Oh, but... Oh, God. There was another path, wasn't there? There is another path. Okay. We know where the ladder up is. We know where to go. Uh, was this where we came from? This is not... This is not where we came from, right? This is not where we came from. Thank you. That's pretty useless to me right now. Hi. And HP cake small. SP cake spinner. Gotta love it. Okay. Where are we going right now? I'm trying to keep the entire place in mind of where we have walked and where we haven't walked. But this should lead to a... This should lead to a dead end, right? I'll take the static spinners and the HP cake and cuckoo fruit. Thank you. Anything else here? Anything behind here? No. Nope, that's it. Well, uh, the fear sense slowly running out. This should be fine. Ah, that's a fear sense running out. Well, glad that I've got multiple of those in that case. Uh, it was stinky scent, not fear scent. There we go, number two. Hi, I knew I'd missed something. Okay, uh, Sparky, you remain in the front. Just gotta be very careful. Hi, very careful for cut moves. Hey, finally someone get with a light. Give me that worker helm. You're not getting my worker helm. I might like my crown more, but this worker helm is currently saving me. Just, just imagine how I would go through this without it. And also, this is a decently bad matchup for me. Because there's no way I'm gonna hit you. But there's no way you're gonna hit me as well. So how about I inner peace the victory here, shall we? As long as you don't hit me. 
at least that's the general hope, so. That is so weak. Look, you are... You're dropping my defense. And that's a physical move, I guess? Or not? Like, we have got the type advantage, sort of. Don't you dare. In a piece of sail. I hate you! Okay, fine. You want a lightning strike? I'll give you a lightning strike. And we got lost. We got lost in the twilight. Which makes me wonder. Okay, a defensive move like what you just did now. Can that miss? Can that be... Can you miss that in the twilight? And that is, for a not very effective move, highly powerful. I'll take it. Alright. Well, I can't use... Why am I the one who's getting lost in the twilight? Or are you considered as a blind Coromon? Maybe. I got no clue. Anyway, uh, Inner Peace is no longer disabled, so here we go. More Inner Peace. I will sweep entirely through your team. And there's nothing you can do about it. And you got lost in the twilight. Nice. Okay, so we are at three with minus two defense, though. So I do have to worry at least a little bit, because as I can see it's already happening that I'm going to miss my quad vault and Sparky's gonna die. So please do no, don't do that. I mean, the level advantage right now is certainly getting me a little bit more cocky here, so... Eh, please die. Let's see, what else have you got? Something that's going to ruin my day? Sparky went to level 18, nice. Electrify. The user charges itself, increasing damage of its next electric attack 1.5 times and doubling the critical hit chance. This can electrify a Cormon twice. That's interesting, I guess. Also, surprisingly enough, you are pretty defensive. I like it. Uh, how about... How about some more special attack? And that Shimmer Awakening Potential. Nope, we're going to postpone that again. Oddagi. Od okay. Uh, what are you? You're a ghost. Okay, well, how about you get a quad fault in the face? And you got fully rested. Can you survive this? No one can survive a powered up quad fault. That is an awesome design, though. I like it. Ah, that's Shimmer up to 19. Dear, oh dear. Ah, oh, it's not fair. The light was in my eyes. Hey, you want the light? I'm giving you the light. Don't complain. Seriously, the guy back there was right. Or on the previous floor or here. You people do complain. I've seen some lumen that can light up whole areas. Maybe I should look for one of those. Maybe. Uh, anyway... Shimmer is level 19, more powerful than the rest of the team right now. How? Well, I guess he basically is just a grower, but yeah. Um, I think at this point, I'm not sure how the items affect stuff, but I'm going to take back the lazy gem and I'm still going to keep... The Sloth's Gem is going to stay on Shimmer for the time being, and I am probably going to be in trouble in the nearby future. Uh, where, where do I need to go here? Item? Item? No. Okay, we're back on track. I fear for one thing right now, and that is the fact that, okay, I'm leveling up quite easily right now. What levels are we going to encounter in the nearby future? How powerful is stuff going to be? Also, how the hell did I get out of here? Through there, nice. And another floor. Well, you know the drill. And also means, Amarillo, you place to the front. Thank you very much. Because I want to try out that tactical slam. Let's see what we've got. And it's a movie! Nice! What's the... I still didn't see you before. I totally forgot about you. I'm happy to see you right now. 
you can become a pretty good tank as well, right? Here, have a tactical slam. Uh, I want to know what exactly... Please don't hit me so often. Thank you. Are you a normal defensive tank like my Amarillo or are you a special tank? Whatever the case may be, I want you and how about a silver spinner? You like that, right? It's shiny, it's perfect, it's not gold, but it's, it's, it's acceptable. So join me, please, Moby. Thank you. I will check you out in the Cormon summary. You are... I've got no clue. Really no clue. Anyway, uh, Fury Reconstruct. Costs 4 SP, but the user reconstructs himself with sands, recovering 15% HP and increasing its defense by one stage. That is a really interesting move. And Fury Fist being a sand move as well. The user lets out this Fury on the target, hitting 1 to 3 times. Love it. And Normalize. The Cormon doesn't mind critical hits and reduces that Reduce their damage by 25%. Hold up. Okay. Um, critical hits. Deal how much extra damage? Okay, so a critical hit deals 1.5 damage. So if a normal move would, for example, deal 100 damage, then it would suddenly deal 150 if then normalizes in effect, it would decrease that entire hit by 25%, but then the total damage would go down to 112.5. So this normalized trait is worse than the one that completely negates critical hits. I'm not entirely sure if that just means that this normalized trait is just bad or not, but eh, still. Welcome to the team, Mubi. Welcome to the team. And I'll give you a nickname later. And Amarillo Horde and the HP Cake Medium. Amarillo, I love you. But yeah, either my math is off or that skill is just not exactly that brilliant. Anyway. Because I'm curious. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. This is a really big mistake. That's me. I was stuck on the previous floor, but I sure have a stronger squad as a result. Yeah, I too. And I wasn't even stuck. Oh, you do have... Oh, okay, okay. We're, we're gonna switch out. I don't trust myself to... Oh, this would be the perfect matchup. Oh, uh, am I going to do this? I'm going to do this. Hit the wave. Yes. Okay, this is getting risky. I shouldn't be doing this. I don't know what kind of ghost moves he has. He's going to utterly destroy me if he hits me with a ghost move, but... Yeah, Shade Walker. Here we go. That's some power. And you're still asleep, meaning I can kill you right now. But with a fade attack. That works surprisingly well. Still risky with a 70 accuracy sleeping move, but I'll take it. And Hound Oz. Can I put... Ooh. Is that... That's potent. Nice. Can I put you to sleep as well? All hill hitting the 70% accuracy moves. And also, Twilight is not in effect, so I wouldn't even be affected by that, but this is fine. How about we howl? Oh, that's cool. I love it. Okay, as long as you stay asleep, just keep sleeping, nothing's wrong. More howling, just empower this little shimmer of mine. And you woke up. Don't decrease my speed. Do you not know what kind of move I- oh. So it can shock me. I hate you. Well, I'm, no matter what, still faster, because Fade Attack always moves first. So, bye-bye, Houndos. I was kind of fearing it would not actually kill. I mean, Shimmer is still not exactly a brilliant physical attacker. But we got this. Alright, and Scarbone. Well, I'm empowered. 
Shay Walker. We'll do Shay Walker. Toxic. Shimmer's not affected. Would that poison me? Did you really want to poison me? Oh, that did not kill. That did not kill. I'm level 20 with a four times boosted attack. And that did not kill. That goes to show how weak Shimmer right now is with physical moves. Dear oh dear. But hey, at least he's slowly growing. Oh, you must have been stuck on the dark floor even longer than me. I was not stuck, I just... Does it count as being stuck if you just like to explore everything? I don't know. I thought I could win with my new Coromon. Yeah, not when you face someone who's a tiny bit overleveled, apparently. Okay, Matador, you go to the front. We'll put Shimmer in the back again, and let's get a few more milestones. There we go. One more level. Two more levels. Liking it. Give me the combi cakes and give me those trick spinners. Thank you. All right. So the scent is still active. I like that. That's keeping me going right now. Phoenix Shark. Thank you, I guess. But... Let's see. Canal fruit. And we've got ourselves a Jabba fruit. And Kuko. Love it. I still should play this at least a little bit careful. I got the cakes for it right now. I can use them. It's not a marvel lot that I heal, but yeah, this is fine. Hi, Oscar. Now I got through the darkness. I feel unbeatable now. Oh, do you now? Well, let me prove you wrong. Eh, we can handle a sand scale. Oh. Okay, maybe it's a good thing that I'm decently getting level because you're up to level 15 right now. How about you quickly die? You're not going to die because of this. Oh, you're not going to die because of this. You are pretty physically defensive. I'm not okay with that. Can I burn you, maybe? A burn would be nice. I mean, you can toughen up all day, but that's not going to stop me from piercing you with my piercing horns. Just don't kill me now. Oh, and you... Okay, you're asking for it. You're asking for it. You're asking for it. Koda... Get out of there. Show this sand skill that being level 15 is a wrong idea at this very precise moment. Yeah, this is fine. There we go. One splash. One kill. Don't do that, please. Just die. Thank you. <laughs> got a love splash. All right, what else have you got? Go up to 18. Nice. And you have got a... what? Armadil. Now we can handle that. That's a potent Armadil. Okay. Bit more terrifying. Splash will do 16 damage. That's not a lot. Um, I think I am actually going into Muppet right now. All of a sudden, against trainers, I no longer feel that overleveled anymore. Oh, not the deep cut. Okay, this is fine. We're just bleeding. Nothing's wrong. We can survive another hit, right? You won't survive this. Okay. You're pretty speedy. And you're increasing attack. Oh, this is bad. Can you please die to this? You're not dying to this. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I could go for my own Amarillo. He is defensive. He would survive that. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, okay, okay. This one is a little bit more terrifying. Can you stop with the deep cuts? Please! Stop opening bleeding wounds. Stop increasing your own attack. Dear, oh dear. Okay, okay. Um... Yeah, we'll go for deep cut ourselves. You are really powerful. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. 
My attack is increased. You're bleeding. I'm bleeding. Everyone is bleeding. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Oh, everything is fine. Everything is totally fine. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. Right now. Thank you. Oh, boy. Armadil is a beast. That's all I'll say. Oh, boy. All right. Guess I'm still beatable. Yes, you are. But you did a really good job. Oh. I desperately need to heal right now. You have really left a mark. And sure, maybe a little bit of a waste of the amount of cakes I'm using, but it's something. All right, uh, Matador stays in the front. That is fine. Let's see where this is leading me. And right now, I'm just not leveling up thanks to the stinky sense. Again, I'll take it. It's not too bad. But what level would I have been? Are those bones? What level would I have been had I not actually used a stinky scent? Yes, let me rummage through the bones and steal some money. It's surely no one died there on that very spot. Everything is fine. Without intentionally overleveling a ton, we currently are sitting quite comfortably with our team's levels. Yet, even so, there always are some trainers that manage to surprise you. After all, one man's tattle is another man's beefy armadillo.